Bula Vinaka and a good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the former chair of FEA, Mr. Nizamuddin, thank you for being here with us this morning. And of course, the new chair, Dakshesh Patel, uh, the CEO, and uh, of course, all the staff of FEA. Uh, it gives me much pleasure to be here this morning. We were, of course, here last year when we made the previous announcement of the bonus payout. FEA, um, at the moment, as we had uh, spoken about um, last year, uh, government, as you know, is uh, um, on the process or in the process of divesting uh, part of its shares in FEA uh, to get private sector participation. And we are also looking at how we can, through a particular mechanism, get ordinary Fijians to become shareholders within FEA. And I think that is a very critical issue uh, because FEA plays a very pivotal role in the development of Fiji. Uh, as you know that today, um, without electricity, we virtually cannot do anything. There are some people who start getting withdrawal symptoms if they cannot charge their phones. They start getting panic attacks. Most people actually walk around today with holding this thing in their hand. Um, of course, these things they cannot operate without electricity. Uh, almost everything that we have. So electricity is very critical. It also is very critical not just in terms of improving the quality of our lives, where you're a person living in the rural areas where you now can have access to a fridge that we take for granted in the urban areas or where we have electricity, or whether you have lights. Uh, of course, there are alternative forms of lights in term, uh, apart from being connected to the grid. But the reality is that uh, electricity is very critical for economic development too, in terms of creating jobs, in setting up factories, in setting up manufacturing plants, in setting up hotels, um, and even offices. So FEA plays a very critical role, and government recognizes the critical role. Government also recognizes the fact that government, uh, through the people of Fiji, must play, continue to play a key role in the electricity sector. So we can have what we call a mixture of public-private partnerships, where you have a government entity, uh, government ownership, together with uh, a private sector having some shares in it. And I think <coughs> FEA is also, like I said, um, very um, uh, ripe in terms of getting some uh, you know, ordinary Fijians to own shares in that. And that's a mechanism that we're going through at the moment. We're announcing that. We've already appointed some investment advisors uh, to this process. I would like to um, take this opportunity. Unfortunately, I was not there at the uh, formal farewell of the uh, former chair of FEA. As you know, uh, Mr. Dean has played a very key role in this institution. He's very much part and parcel of this institution. Uh, he worked here um, as part of the management team, but he also then became the chair. And many of the changes you see in FEA, many of the milestones that were achieved in FEA was under his leadership. And I'd like to publicly acknowledge him for that and thank him for that and for his dedication, in particular at a time when it was not, you know, not the in thing to be a board member of a state-owned enterprise, in particular after post 5 December 2006. So let's please put our hands together for Mr. Dean. Um, of course, I'd like to uh, welcome the new chair. Uh, Mr. Dakshesh Patel. Uh, he comes uh, to us uh, with a lot of uh, commercial experience also. Um, he also is a commissioner on the Public Service Commission. I'd like to thank him. Uh, he has a very uh, busy business uh, enterprise of his own, uh, but he's taken the effort. Uh, people like him actually don't get remunerated for being on the board. Um, I mean, it's, it's maybe a small change for him, but it's a big deal for us. But I think that also goes to show a commitment uh, on his part to contribute without necessarily being you know, given some form of benefit for it. Um, so I'd like to also thank him for that and thank him for his time and energy. I know uh, that uh, he has taken up this position with a lot of rigor, a lot of energy, uh, and he does call me up nearly every second day. Um, and, uh, but I'd like to thank him for that. Uh, it is a very critical stage that FEA is at, and indeed the country is at. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think as I mentioned to you last year, please try and understand that Fiji has never had seven years of sustained growth. When a country is growing, we need to do the right things to make it keep on going, to keep it sustained. And that includes changing our attitude, how we work, 
changing the way that we view the world, we view the economy, making sure that we have the right resources within that. As I mentioned to somebody the other day, you know, in Fiji, we don't even have a speech therapist. There's only one lady who is a speech therapist. Some of our children may not be able to articulate themselves well. If we get speech therapists in the country and we're able to get them at the right age, they will be able to get over the speech impediment, the speech problem. But if we aren't able to make that intervention at the right time, your children will be condemned to be, oh, this guy can't talk properly, and maybe send him to a special school. But there are many things, there are many opportunities like that, and we need to be able to grab that. So we are in a very, uh, very uh, interesting phase in, in our economy, in the state of our, of our country. And all of you will play a very pivotal and critical role. We all need to change. I mean, I need to constantly change my mindset too, to be able to see how we can be able to grow together and put in place some fundamentals uh, to ensure that we have sustained economic growth. I'd like to thank you for your contribution, uh, for the performance of FEA, where today we are announcing that there will be a bonus payout of $1.324 million. Uh, and of course, all 735 staff will be benefiting from it. Uh, the largest chunk is going to the salary and the wage earners. They're getting about $876,000 out of that $1.3 million. So all of you are benefiting from it. All of you will get that bonus, and all of you have contributed to that. As I keep on saying, that in any organization, even if a person may be a, you know, normally like in some of my ministries that we have, people always complain about the, you know, the driver. But the day the driver doesn't come to work, everybody starts panicking. There's nobody to drive them to work. So what it goes to show that everybody is very important in any organization. And similarly, you must all be able to respect and appreciate what each one of you are doing. That's very important. Do not look down on anybody within your organization or do not you know, look too high up in that sense. So we are all equal, you are all equal, and you all contribute. So I'd like to thank you very much, uh, you know, very sincerely, because you all are contributing to this. We have other state-owned enterprises that are doing really well. They, some of the others may not be doing as well, and they look up to organizations like yourselves to see, look, how well these guys are doing. They've got a bonus, bonus payout. Let's try and achieve what they're achieving. We have today, for example, Fiji Airways, that's actually getting the, the staff now have been getting a share of the profits. You know, these are some of the things that we can aspire to in other state-owned enterprises, uh, including yours. So these are the, some of the things that we are looking at. We like to work together with you. We like your contribution. Some of you may have ideas that we may not have even thought of. And it's very, very important for us to be able to tap into, in, into that. So thank you very much for your contribution. I'd like to thank the CEO. Um, in particular, I know FEA went through a fairly uh, demanding period, in particular after Cyclone Winston. I know there was a lot of pressure. People who did not have electricity, some of them have not had it for months, but because of the limitations of, of you know, the uh, resources or human resources to be able to put that in place, I think there was a lot of pressure, but I'd like to thank you, all of you uh, for coming up to speed with that. So I'd like to congratulate you for your bonus. And of course, your CEO will tell you when you'll get it in your bank accounts. We're not going to